King Carl Gustav and Queen Sylvia of Sweden have been married for 47 years, and in three years, they will celebrate their golden wedding anniversary. Yet, unlike many individuals in their late 70s, this royal couple shows no signs of slowing down. They maintain a busy schedule throughout the year, making them an inspiration to many. A Royal Love Story Their extraordinary journey together began at the 1972 Munich Olympics. Sylvia Sommerlatt, laughing with her friends in the royal box, caught the eye of a 26-year-old crown prince Carl Gustav, who was observing her through binoculars. That chance encounter led to an invitation to a cocktail reception and, as the world knows, an immediate connection. After a series of secret dates, they finally sat on the famous green sofa in Princess Sibylla's apartment at the Royal Palace to announce their engagement. Walter Sommerlatt, Sylvia's father, in a 1973 interview with Svensk Damdidning, remarked on her ability to handle the pressure of public scrutiny and remain composed in the face of external expectations. Sylvia has consistently supported the king through thick and thin, from minor issues to significant challenges. Today, they have three children and eight grandchildren, forming a strong and united team as they were from the very beginning, despite being separated by thousands of kilometers. A life of service. For the king and queen, no two days are alike. They have a packed schedule of royal engagements, both in Sweden and around the world. On Wednesday, the king participated in the Royal Technology Tour organized by the Royal Swedish Academy of Engineering Sciences, IVA, focusing on technological advancements and research. Queen Sylvia, on the other hand, visited Mentor, a foundation that she co-founded with the World Health Organization, who, 29 years ago. The organization's goal is to create safe spaces for young people and prevent violence and drug abuse. Mentor International Foundation now engages in projects across more than 80 countries, positively impacting millions of young lives. While they are accustomed to frequent travel, the king and queen still feel the weight of separation. Imagine having to part as often as they do. Their busy schedules notwithstanding, there's good news for the royal couple. At the end of October, they will reunite for a state visit from France, where President Emmanuel Macron and his wife Bridget Macron will arrive in Stockholm. Conclusion King Carl Gustav and Queen Sylvia of Sweden serve as a testament to love, unity, and dedication. Their remarkable journey, spanning almost half a century, is a testament to the strength of their relationship and their unwavering commitment to their duties as the King and Queen of Sweden. Their love story continues to inspire and captivate people around the world.